Hello and welcome to Homework Club. We are on chapter 12, lesson 7, and the subject is collect and display measurement data. As always, I'm going to skip the homework helper section, but please do it on your own time. It's really helpful. And by the way, we will be coming back to this as we go to the practice section. All right. So in the practice section number one, it's telling us to tell why in the line plot above here, uh, there are no X's above three quarter of an inch right here. Do you see pretty much all of, uh, all of the numbers have X's except of zero and three quarter. Well, the information in here, it says that the teacher was measuring the growth of the students. And uh, uh, it looks like that three students grew quarter of an inch, two students grew uh, half an inch, and on and on. All right. Well, if there's no, no X's above three quarter because none of the students grew that much. All right. So I'm going to say that um, uh, students... either uh, grew less than three quarter of an inch or more than three quarter of an inch. And um, maybe no one grew three quarter of an inch. That's it. If, if there was no data for three quarter of an inch, obviously we're gonna leave it blank, right? That's exactly what it means. Now, number two says, did more of uh, Mrs. Uh, Carney's students grew an inch or more or less than an inch? And explain. All right, this is a good, question so the question is asking us here's the here's the inch right four over four is it's also same as one inch all right so the question is um did, did the more students grew an inch or more here's the inch so more students grew on this side or on this side all right well, we can simply count how many X's we have and we can compare. So on this side, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five students that grew less than an inch. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven students grew one inch or more. That's exactly what it's asking us, right? Grew an inch or more versus less than an inch. So uh did more students uh, we're gonna say um, you can say yes or uh, sure we're gonna say um yes uh more students and i'm gonna in parentheses i'm gonna say seven um grew uh one inch or more when uh, five students grew uh, less than one inch. Okay? So yes, more students grew one inch or more when five students grew less than one inch. Uh, I don't know if it's, it's, a, it's a good sentence, but it's basically what we need to tell in, in, in our answer. Okay. Now uh, let's go to the next page. Also, if you guys um, need more explanations, more examples, post a question below the video. I'll be more than happy to get back to you with more examples. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe. Um, that's the only way I know if I should make more videos like this or not. Number three says ribbon can be bought in many different widths. Uh, the tally chart here 
shows how many spools of each width uh, of a ribbon can be bought. Mm, represent the measurement data in a line plot. Great, we have a line plot and we have a tally chart. We're gonna take this information and plot it in here. So let's do that. So for quarter of an inch, we have one, two, three. There's square quarter of an inch, we have to do three X's on it, right? That's all that means. Uh, two over four, which is same as half, we have two of those. So we're gonna do two X's here. Uh, for three quarter, we have five, right? So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, four over four, which is also one, that is one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm singing. Uh, one quarter has only one. Uh, one and a half also has one. And guess what? We are done with number three. How sweet was that? I'll just keep it right here because I think we have to refer to it, right? Which two widths of different lengths, mm, different lengths, uh, when put together uh, will equal four over four of an inch or one whole inch. There it goes. At least they're telling us that four over four of an inch is, is the same as one whole, right? Because the, the, the fractions also mean division. It's just the numerator divided by the denominator. So four divided by four is, that's right, it's one. So, so how many, uh, how, what two lengths we can put together that will add to one. Here's one. So which, where can I cut it? If I, I can't do it right here, this, this two, because this half and a half will make a one, but it's specifically saying, don't, you know, don't make them same. They have to be different. All right, great. How about I cut it right here? Here's one length here. Here's another length right here. That's a quarter. And this is one, two, three quarters, right? So one quarter plus three quarter will make four quarters, right? So um, one over four inch uh, and three quarter of an inch um, will equal to one inch. <laughs> that is it. How cool was that? All right, let's go to number five now. If you'd like to get help with the rest of the problems in this lesson, and every single lesson in third, fourth, and fifth grade math, please visit us at my-homeworkclub.com or simply click the link in the descriptions. Now we're ready to go to number five, which says which two widths of different lengths, again, they're different, when put together will equal to one and a quarter of an inches. Explain. Excellent. Let's, let's look at this again. So one and a quarter is right here. So again, you have this whole uh, distance and we have to cut it somewhere that will end up right here, right? How about I cut it right here? So I have one length right here, another length right here. This little piece right here is a quarter, right? That's a quarter. And this is from zero to one. Obviously that's a one. How about one inch and a quarter of an inch will equal to one and a quarter. And that's exactly what I'm gonna say, right? I'm gonna say one inch and uh, a quarter of an inch will equal to one and a quarter of an inch. Super simple, right? Super simple. All right, number six says, which has a greater combined width? Two spools of ribbon that are each two and a quarter uh, uh, inches in width or one spool that four over four inches in width. Hmm. Well, let's do the math. So if I have two spools with both two and a quarter of an inch, it's gonna be two and a quarter plus two and a quarter, right? Well, 
uh, you just uh, remember the addition of a fractions you just add the numerators together 2 plus 2 is 4 and the denominators do not change so that's 4 wait a minute that's exactly what this is right that means so if I have uh, a combined two spools with a length of 2 over 4 it will be exactly the same as a spool with 4 over 4 Right, so I'm going to say since uh, 2 over 4 plus 2 over 4 is equal to 4 over 4, um, comma, 2 spools um, with a width of two and a quarter will be the same as four over four. Ah, uh, I should have said same as one spool four over four. Okay, but still good enough. You're probably still writing this you can always pause to catch up with me but I'm gonna let you do that and I'm gonna go to number seven it says how many spools of ribbon are represented in a line plot for exercise three? Oh, so there you go so we have to go back to exercise three and count how many spools of ribbon are represented we uh, all we have to do is count the tallies right or how many x's we have because that's exactly what it's asking us not these numbers but it's asking how many x's we have and we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 do we have 16 yep we have 16 answer d is the correct answer and we are done with this lesson i hope this was helpful Let's jump to the next one.